Okay, so it's really, it's late, and I'm really tired, um, like really tired, uh, today, I don't even know what to say, I didn't go to, I, I didn't go to Weight Watchers today, I don't even know, like, I honestly can't even tell you, I'm just so flipping tired on Saturdays, that, like, I just cannot even get it in my head, and like, Yesterday, we were so active, I woke up today and I just hurt, like, top to bottom, I was tired out of my mind, and I just went back to bed. And today also, instead of going straight from Weight Watchers to Zumba, Zumba ha was, happened later in the day, so it wasn't like I had a reason to get up early anyway, and I just laid there. I did do a weigh-in. I guess I'm going to, I think that, okay, I don't actually know what I think <laughs> or or what the plan is. I can't figure out what's up. I'm just exhausted and I'm not tired of eating healthy and I'm not tired of working out and I'm not tired of the journey or anything like that, but I am I don't even know how to explain how drained. So I was like, well, not weighing in two weeks in a row is not okay. So I have to weigh in. So I weighed in here at home. Um, I weighed in at one, um, yeah, I was about to say 200, no, 138 pounds, 138.6 pounds, um, which is, Technically, 0.4 higher than the last time I weighed in two Saturdays ago. Um, I've, I've been thinking a lot about my weight and about where I'm at. Um, one of them was deciding what maintenance was going to be. And I think that for me, between 136 and 141, I'm going to consider maintenance. Um, just because depending on what I ate, how recently, um, just stuff like that, I, I tend to fluctuate between those numbers. So if I get on a scale on Saturday morning here or at Weight Watchers, and it's between 136 and 141, I will tell you the number, but I'm considering it a maintain. Um, yeah, or I guess 135 and 140, we'll do 135 and 140, because that's where it's been in between, um, what was I saying, see, I'm like, I'm like so tired, so, I was trying to, to decide, like, what the plan was, I know I don't want to just not go to Weight Watchers at all, um, I know I want to keep my lifetime status. I have a feeling if I just let, I have a feeling this is just like when, like, I love working out and I love Weight Watchers, um, or I used to. There's a couple of things going on, like, there's some negativity at the meeting, and I don't feel quite comfortable, or like, it's almost like when I talk, some people are extremely receptive and want my thoughts, but other people are very obvious about feeling like I don't have the right to contribute or to answer questions because I'm not still doing it or something like that. I don't know. It's like more of a big girl support group than it is a weight loss group for some people. And I just think I've been feeling kind of like, I don't know. Um, but I do like going at just like I love to work out, but sometimes I'm just so tired. I just, and like I've injured myself or whatever. I just have to give myself time to get better. And in those cases, generally I work out three times that week, but it's easy workouts that are only 30 minutes long and stuff. And I think that I might just be at that point where I need to just let myself sleep on Saturdays and let myself rest 
and catch up with life because it's like I feel like this homeschool snowball has just like turned into an avalanche and I love every minute of it um but it is by far the most mentally taxing thing I've done since well, easily since Hurricane Katrina. I think that, I mean, I was in school when that hit. So I was thinking, maybe this is even more than school. I think because it's like so emotionally and mentally taxing. Because it's like, these are my kids. And this is their life and their education. That matters, you know. So, I just, by the time the weekend comes, I'm like, let me sleep. Seriously. <laughs> um, so... I slept through the last week. I took some medicine so I could feel better physically and went back to bed. I got up around 10, yeah, around 10, and I cooked people breakfast, and then I went to a Zoomathon that was supposed to be three hours, and it got shortened. Look at my house, what a mess. And then it got shortened um, because only like 25 people showed up and they were like well we'll just go until the group wears out so me and my friend Roxy we did it from the start to the finish we're the only two people who did however because the group besides me and Roxy had worn out they uh, ended it at like early like 45 minutes early 40 minutes early because it was 2 hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's how that went. It was awesome. But I'm tired and sore. Uh, my plan for tomorrow is to rest. And uh, I am going to work out because it's, it's weird. It's like when you're having a flare up, it's like double important to keep yourself moving so you don't rust up but at the same time you have to like let yourself recoup so tomorrow I think I'm just gonna ride my bike really easy unless I have a headache because then I can't but I'm gonna ride my bike really easy and um, just call it a day early oh, excuse me tomorrow also I'm doing the scale giveaway See, my Friday five was gonna be a certain topic, but then we had a blast, the pumpkin patch, and I decided instead to do the Friday five being the best moments of the pumpkin patch. So tomorrow you're gonna get my Friday five, but instead of being Friday five, I'm gonna make it the Sunday six, and it's gonna be football related. Yay! And during that video, I'm going to do the giveaway for the scale. So. You can look forward to that. Um, ooh, back to weight. Another thing I was thinking about was, like, did I lose focus? Or, you know, like, what's happening? Do I want to stay here? Do I want to lose more weight? What do I want to do? And the thing is, this is what I honestly believe. I think that um, right now I'm eating 14, 1,600 calories a day. And that technically is lower than what I would need to maintain my weight. However, it is two to four hundred calories more than I was eating when I was losing weight. So I think that I was kind of cutting my body a little bit shy and that it's staying and fluctuating on, on that amount of calories. It's staying and fluctuating between 135 and 140 and that's fine. Um, I think that if I pushed it and cut them back down to 1,200, I could probably drop more weight and get down lower. But as soon as I started eating, I think I would probably wind up back here or even a little bit higher um, once I started eating 1,400 to 1,600 calories. So what I'm doing is just staying here. I'm just going to – I am satisfied. I mean, there's things that I want to change, but that's not weight loss. It's muscle building and plastic surgery so I'm gonna stay here continue to eat the 14 to 1600 calories I have a feeling that after doing that for a while I might slowly start to see the numbers fluctuate smaller like instead of being 
135 to 140, it might start to be like 133 to like 138, and like, you, you know, like lower itself slowly and gradually, um, because like I said, that is a lower amount of calories, but I don't want to like kill myself to get to a number that one I think is probably not going to look good. I think I like having curves. I like being rounded on my edges. Um, I, don't get me wrong. I love being able to be a collarbone and I love, you know, having a body shape, but I do like having some round to me. And I think that if I lost another, just a change between the last 10 pounds, if I lost another 15, I don't know that I would have any of the like rounds that I like. So that's one. Two, like I really honestly think that if I did that, I'd only wind up um, going back up once I start to eat a normal amount and not a diet amount. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, I think that next week, if I wake up and feel good, no, I, I'm, I think that next week, if I wake up and feel good, I'm going to go to Weight Watchers. And I'm definitely going to get there once a month. I'm going to try to go as often as possible, but like, it, depending on how I feel, next week I'm going to Weight Watchers. Um... And if I feel like crap, I don't know. I think also I might try to go to like on Thursday evenings because I think maybe Saturday is just too much, but I could probably get it done on Thursday evening. That's a thought. That's a thought I'll have to think about. <laughs> Alright guys, I, I'm going to bed. I'm so tired.